What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. Today we're going to go south of the border, even further south of the border, uh, down to Costa Rica, for a sauce called Pierde Almas, uh, which means lose your soul uh, in Spanish. And so, uh, and for those of you that didn't know, Costa Rica means rich coast. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, the company themselves are called Chile Monoloco. Mono loco means crazy monkey. Uh, and um, man, you guys are just learning a lot of Spanish today here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it was formed by uh, Paola Conejo uh, Elizondo. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Pablo Jimenez uh, Rodriguez. And so they uh, basically enjoyed just making people suffer with their concoctions that they would put together. They do describe themselves as being sadistic. So, their own words, not mine, right? Uh, and then uh, they even call themselves and all the people that work there uh, a group of primates. So, this should be fun sauce. And um, the city itself is uh, actually uh, San Pedro, which is St. Pete. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop that now. Uh, but it's uh, St. Pete uh, or San Pedro, which is considered part of the San Jose area. San Jose is like the, the capital of, it is the capital of Costa Rica. It isn't like the capital. It really is the capital of Costa Rica. And so uh, it's part of the, the metropolitan area, right? Um, and so a little bit, uh, it is home of uh, uh, La Universidad de Costa Rica. And it is, um, again, uh, there's, we've covered some of the people from Costa Rica, but again, uh, to reiterate some of those people, uh, includes the first female president. Uh, which uh, is Lo, uh, Laura Chinchilla Miranda. And uh, also uh, this hotness here, uh, Maribel Gu uh, Guardia, who is just a, I, th I think she's a TV host. And she's 61 now. So I don't know when that picture was taken, but uh, hey, you know, you got to appreciate, appreciate what you got, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's look at the packaging for this. So one thing I really, really like is, I think this bottle is playful, but not like in an over-the-top cutesy way, right? You got the, the cool monkey and the skull and crossbones. I think the logo is fun, yet not childish, right? Uh, same thing with the, the Pierre de Alma is the actual name. And then uh, in the background, you just see fire. So it's pretty cool. Uh, overall, I, I just like it. And the look of this, this, this looks really hot. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, a, a warning on here as well. It says, uh, take it easy. Very, very, very hot. Don't panic. Stay calm. What you're experiencing is your soul leaving your body through your melting tongue and tears of regret. This delicious, super hot sauce was made with love and passion in Costa Rica. Crazy, uh, oh, in Costa Rica by crazy monkeys and spicy food lovers. Using only fresh peppers, ghost and scotch bonnet, and 100% natural ingredients. Speaking of ingredients, let's now read those. So the ingredients include hot peppers, which they mentioned were the ghost and the um, scotch bonnets, uh, water, lemon, sunflower oil, garlic, herbs, salt, spices. So most of those uh, ingredients we've already covered, but uh, one, one we have not covered is sunflower oil. So, how do we make sunflower oil? So the uh, first of all, it's pressed from actual sunflower seeds, hence why it's called sunflower oil. Uh, it's basically commonly used in frying foods and a lot in fast food. It does ex it does uh, exacerbate inflammation though due to its high content of omega six fatty acids. I'm pretty sure you've heard of the omega threes, which are in fish, which are good for combating inflammation, omega-6 is exacerbated. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. So um, it can also be used to treat athlete's foot. So if you ingest it, it causes inflammation, but if you put it on your feet, it basically takes care of inf inf well, inflamed. I don't wanna call it inflammation because it's different, right? But again, not sure if I wanna put something in my body that um, yeah, that you can treat athlete's foot with. You don't see me guzzling down a can of Tenactin, right? Is that even still around? Eh, who knows? Before we get any further, 
Let's hear from this week's sponsor. We used to own a service named Monkey Business. But with so many monkeys escaping from our facilities, the local area has been overrun with primates. Now to atone for our mistakes, we've started the Great X Ape, a monkey extermination service. Things can get hairy around wild chimps, so give us a call if they start driving you bananas. We'll chop that rhesus into pieces. We mean business, and we're not monkeying around anymore. Sorry, not equipped to hunt orangutans. Now for the moment of truth. So this sauce is <clears throat> rather liquidy, rather fluid, shall I say. That's an interesting, damn, it smells really good. But I don't know what that is. I want to say it almost smells like, uh, like pasta sauce. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. There's no tomato in this. Maybe it's maybe they use like oregano in here and garlic. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't quite smell too much like garlic, but maybe like a mixture of garlic and herbs. Wow. So this sauce, this sauce clocks in at six hundred and sixty-five thousand. This is gonna be the hottest sauce I've had since the uh, chocolate plague I took with Arthur, which was about. 10 weeks ago. That one was pretty brutal. This one's right up there. Well, let's see how this goes. It's a nice, it's a nice, beautiful reddish orange color. So ghost peppers and scotch bonnets. And so remember, this is the number nine on the hot ones typically at least it was on season 12 so all right well here we go mm -mm. holy hell that was immediate <clears throat> Woo! holy hell Okay, this is definitely a heavyweight. Wow. <clears throat> so immediately hit the tip of my tongue and just got hotter and then got hotter in the back of my tongue. Um, I'll end off my throat is not burning too bad. Wow, that is hot. I'll probably start hiccuping here in a little bit. as I do with the really hot sauces, but, um, flavorful though. It's really good. Um, it just burns like hell. Now, the good thing is I don't have a soul, so, you know, I don't think anything's leaving me, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not a ginger. Um, but it's hot, but it's good. I don't know what, um, you know, aside from the fact that it's ridiculously hot, I think you could use it on almost anything, though. It's not, um, it's not something that I would say is, uh, yeah, I mean, I think you could throw this on chicken, on wings, and again, you'd have to be very careful. I would wear gloves of preparing these, but, um, Really good though. Um, still, I feel like like fairy full is more flavorful. Um, but this is a really good sauce though, and I think it's pretty versatile, much like fairy full. Well done, well done, uh, chili mono loco. Very good. All right. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm sweating. Not the not the worst though. Uh, I think I'm a little well. It's not the worst. I think I mean, you know, I can deal with the the heat a little bit better now. <laughs> and the most for most cases, but yeah, this is a pretty hot one. 
definitely a heavyweight. Don't take it lightly. <laughs> and, um, yeah, treat it with reverence and respect. But, all right, very cool. So, next week, we're going to be doing a sauce from Virginia. So, up to this point, I've already covered 17 states. Virginia will be our 18th one that we'll have covered. And this one is from Clark and Hopkins. It's their awesome sauce. Not spelled like awesome. It's spelled like the state in India which inspired the sauce. So, should be fun. All right, guys. Well, until then, I'm Henry. And remember, spice up your life. Take care.